wow, Borneo Jungle Diaries, what a crazy experience. I've learned so many new things. The people at Danau Giram Field Center are such amazing people. Clouded Leopard, I got to see Clouded Leopard, that's crazy. Elephants, rhinoceros hornbill, but this is such a beautiful place. I wonder what's next in store for me. Borneo Ocean Diaries. Well, that explains it. Wow. As a Sabahan, growing up on the island of Borneo, I'm always surrounded by water. And I have always been interested to know more about our oceans and the seas, the coral reefs and the marine life that call it their home. And now it is my time to finally fulfill one of my lifelong dreams, and that is to learn to scuba dive. I'm here on Mamutik Island, just 15 minutes boat ride from Sabah's west coast capital, Kota Kinabalu. Mamutik is one of five islands that make up the Tunku Abdurrahman Marine Park. Kota Kinabalu International Airport offers incredible connectivity with the rest of Malaysia and as well as the world. And is only a short 15-minute drive to the city center and is a great location to springboard into any of your chosen jungle or ocean adventures. Hey. I'm Alex. Hi, Alex. I'm on a mission to learn more about Malaysia's marine environment. Awesome. So I'm here to learn to scuba dive. Well, you're definitely in the right place here at Borneo Divers. We're Paddy Five Star Instructor Development Centre. My name is Mark and I'm the Paddy Regional Manager for Brunei, Malaysia and Singapore. Wow. So should we get started? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, mate. Paddy stands yeah. for the Professional Association of Diving Instructors. PADI is the world's largest diving membership and scuba diving training organization. PADI offers scuba courses from beginners to the professional level. Alright, so over the next few days, what we're going to do, we're going to learn a bit about some theory, we're going to do some swimming pool uh, learning, and then we're going to be going out to the open water and doing some training. Uh, it's going to take a few days, but the main thing is to make you a safe and a responsible scuba diver. Okay, well that's great, but my first question is, what's scuba? What's scuba? Well, welcome to my world. Self-contained, underwater, breathing apparatus. The Paddy Open Water course is the world's most recognized diving certification and I spend the next few hours working through the Paddy Open Water course manual and training videos with Mark's expert guidance. The Paddy Open Water Diver course includes three parts, knowledge development, confined water dives, and open water dives. Knowledge development covers the principles, concepts, and terms you need to know for dive safety and enjoyment. During the confined water dives, you learn and practice scuba skills in a pool or water with pool-like conditions, making one or more mini dives, which take you through the same steps and skills you will follow when you make your open water dives. Wow, that was a lot to take in, but I can see how a lot of it revolves around safety as a diver. What's next? Exam? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you could just fill in your name and then tick for quiz 1A, so we have to go through that one first. Exams are always nerve wracking, but I think I can do this. Done! Awesome! Well done, let me have a check, see how you got on. 
Looks pretty good. Looks like you've got about 100% there, mate. Woo! Okay. So, lunch time? Let's go. Let's go. I'm hungry. <laughs> Pretty intense morning, hey Alex? Yeah, I mean, exams have always been nerve-wracking for me. But now that we're out here, this island is so beautiful and so clean. It is really, really amazing and, you know, we've got to keep it that way. That's why I always have my reusable water bottle and my reusable coffee mug with me. Yeah, I hate single-use plastic. And I can see that Sabah Park is taking it very seriously with the recycling bins. Yeah, definitely. Over a quick lunch, Mark tells me how he first came to Sabah in 2002 and fell in love with the diving and the people and starting out as a dive instructor before building up his own dive business, marrying a Sabahan and starting a family. After selling the dive business, he was asked to join Paddy in a more official capacity as regional manager for Malaysia, Brunei and Singapore. Well, let's get ready, start our first confined water dive. Okay. Let's just get changed. Got a present for you here, Alex. What girl doesn't like a present? <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. Thanks, Mark. Let's get to the pool. When scuba diving, mm -hmm. it's crucial to use well-maintained, good quality diving equipment as your safety relies upon it. Ask your instructor when the equipment was last tested and serviced and only use equipment that fits properly and that you're happy with. I'm quite nervous, but I'm also very excited. I can't wait to go to actually go into the open water. So right now we're just uh, doing our first confined water dive. No, wait, <laughs> that's it. That's the okay signal. <laughs> as soon as I took the plunge and felt the weightlessness of the water, I felt so exhilarated and at peace all at the same time. Yes, a little nervous and unsure as well, but that quickly passed as I became immersed in the drills and skills with Mark's expert guidance. Here's an interesting fact. Paddy have certified over 25 million divers since 1966 and now issue close on a million new certifications each year around the world. Over the course of the next hour, Mark repeatedly puts me through a series of drills and skills which allow me to become increasingly comfortable with the scuba equipment as well as the underwater environment. It's crucial that a diver always remains calm in any situation and keep a clear head when assessing any task or unexpected turn of events. Mark tests me by asking me to remove my mask and carry out my regulator retrieval skill. It's nerve-wracking at first, but I concentrate and all goes well. However, refining my buoyancy skills is not quite so straightforward. Good job! Uh, High five! Woo! Well I, <laughs> I think I, I think I got it already, and um, I just need a little bit more practice. But it was really fun just now, and also I think you need a different mask because <laughs> I can't reach. I know. You can't reach your nose. No? <laughs> yeah. That was so cool and awesome, but I'm cold now, and I need to go get changed. So that's the end of the first day. I feel really proud of what I've done today and Mark has been such an incredible instructor. But I truly am exhausted. And um, I need to get some rest now. But what an amazing day. As the first day of my Paddy Open Water course draws to a close, I feel alive and proud of what I have achieved in such a short space of time. Mark set the right pace and I didn't feel rushed at all. I can't wait for tomorrow.
I was exhausted from yesterday's full-on day of knowledge review and pool skills. I had a lot going through my head before bed last night, but I can't wait to get the confined water dives done today. And I want to continue learning new skills and improving what I already know. Hi, selamat pagi. Apa kabar? Hi, pagi. How are you doing? Good, good. I was, I was so nervous yesterday, but I can't wait to get into the water. Cool. You did really good yesterday, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna try and finish off all the confined water today. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if you're ready, let's go. Let's go. All right. Having Mark as my instructor has been great, and I have realized how important it is to have someone so experienced as well as patient and easygoing so that I am not put under unnecessary pressure and can carry out my course at a comfortable speed. Before we get in, let's drink some water, Yes. get hydrated um, before we go for a dive, eh? It's very important. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Great job! Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> awesome! Finished all confined water now, so next up is just open water dive one. A bit nervous, but I will get through it. Although an incredible experience, I find that I am also slightly exhausted, both mentally and physically, from concentrating on my drills, to finning about and carrying the scuba gear. Mark reminds me, it's important to stay rehydrated, even more so than normal here in the tropics, what with the heat and blazing sun. While scuba diving, the nitrogen gas from the air you breathe builds up in your body tissues. Keeping your tissues hydrated allows your body to safely release the built-up gas as you ascend slowly to the surface at the end of the dive. If you ascend too quickly, your body cannot release the nitrogen gas safely enough and bubbles form in your joints, tissues and bloodstream, resulting in what divers call the bends. So we finished our hour surface interval. Um, so we finished all our confined water, done lunch. You ready for open water dive one to see some fish? Yep, I am so excited. That's what it's all about. Let's go. Cool. I feel I'm getting more and more used to the equipment and feeling much more comfortable with each and every dive. Funnel okay? Mask, fins. Oh. Yep. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Let's go. <laughs> But I still struggle with my buoyancy at first. But perseverance pays off. And it's not long before we set off along the reef's edge. There is so much to see. Colorful fish, corals, sea anemones, and Nemo, of course. My mind is racing and it's easy to forget to check on my remaining air, but luckily, I have Mark there to keep an eye on me and tell me it's time to head back to the beach. The second day of my paddy open water course has come to an end, and I can't believe I have completed so much in such a short space of time. From working through the theory, as well as my first confined pool and beach dives to my first open water dive. It's all been such a great start to my ocean adventures. 
Join me next week when I carry out my first open water boat dives here on Borneo Ocean Diaries.